In a letter dated 31st August to the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, President Yuri Museveni says his security detail, with soldiers from the Special Forces Command acted with restraint. When they didn't fire blades at opposition leaders and their supporters who pelted stones at his vehicle and vandalized it during the campaign violence in Arua. The president says security forces used reasonable force and acted in self-defense while dealing with MPs, who he says were resisting arrest. On 27th August, Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga wrote to the president asking him to explain why security operatives from the police and the presidential SFC guard allegedly beat up MPs, some journalists and other Ugandans, some of who have been hospitalized. The speaker asked the president to cause the arrest of the errant security operatives who conducted the Aru operation. She warned that parliament may have difficulty in conducting government business if answers were not provided. The president advised the speaker to wait for the outcome of the ongoing investigations led by the inspector general of police Martin Zoko Thochola and the chief of defense forces general David Mohosi into the conduct of the security operatives in Arua. And, uh... In the afternoon sitting in parliament, Deputy Speaker Jacob Olanya acknowledged receipt of the president's letter but declined to share it with the MPs. And uh, yesterday, I saw a copy of the letter. I respond to the speaker's letter. It is five pages. I'm not sure why you have not received it through the sources you previously received the first one. Despite pleas from the opposition for the letters to be read in the House, Olanya insisted that it was addressed to his superior, Rebecca Kadaga, and he had no right to read it to the House. Our prayer was that we need to be briefed whether the head of state has responded. In fact, the, the reason we are unwilling to proceed was because of our own security. The issues raised by the speaker, the right honorable Rebecca Kadaga, is she's the one competent to assess whether, to our satisfaction, responses have been met. He's going to determine what should be discussed on order paper or not. That he's telling you, don't talk about torture, I am still investigating. You, parliament, don't talk about ABCD. That he wants to lecture parliament on the law of sub -judice. He wants to usurp the powers of parliament and the speaker. And that's not allowed. That's not good for the democracy of this country. Let each arm of government play their role. In his letter, President Seven hit out at the global human rights defenders and their local agents, who he described as agents of imperialist interests, and advised them to stop wasting their time in Uganda. The human rights groups and the parliament are the best positioned institutions and agencies to speak out. They speak out for the voiceless. The members of parliament provide the oversight function. The activists, they have the right to talk about this. If they cannot talk about the violation of human rights, then what are they supposed to talk about? And come back at an appropriate... Meanwhile, Deputy Speaker Jacob Olanya will on Wednesday give his ruling on whether the report of the six-member ad hoc committee, which pins security agencies for torturing MPs Robert Chagulanya and Francis Zake, should be tabled in the house. The speaker, you know Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament. Win.